Y'all got to see it. It's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now the... <laughs> You know, I was thinking when I heard seen the unedited version, niggas having a tough set. Give me two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. Niggas, give me two seconds. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> give me two seconds. Hey. Will. 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 Mm. Will. Mm. What you did, man, was assault. You and I both know. That when motherfuckers talk about your wife, you have to wait for them to challenge you into a boxing match. And then you accept. And you wait for them to pussy out. <laughs> Weren't you Mohammed Ali? <laughs> I'm going to say this, bro. You guys think this is real? This is just season four of Everybody Hates Chris. Yes, everybody really does. Um, Listen, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You guys know who G.I. Jane? G.I. Jane's the bald. She bald. Wait, Jada bald. If you aren't aware, Jada has alopecia apparently, which yeah. I was not aware of. So that's why she bald. She didn't seem to like the joke. Will Smith took some exception to it. There you guys have it. Do I think this is real? It looked real to me. It was real. It would look it real. It was real. Oh, the way he messed up the next thing. I mean, if it's not if it's not real, I will say Chris Rock, the way his head real back like that. Listen, I've seen a lot of punches in my life. That should look very real. Anyways, all that to say, um, I understand it was a joke, but you have to understand that there's so much a man can take. Now, ever since that happened, that the thing that happened with Jada and everything and stuff, even Will said it himself that there was no cheating involved, right? We made jokes. We. I say we. We. We all made jokes about Will and everything and stuff. And then when someone sees that and stuff like that, they see that over and over and again. There's some stuff that, you know, I, I saw, I, I saw I, a couple of weeks, two weeks back, a week back, there was an interview about him. And I think he was talking with Gail King. And he was talking about, no, no, we were open about this shit. We don't know what the relationship that they had. We don't know. We don't know. Right? We don't know the relationship that they had. So we don't know what the hell was going on with that. You know, there's a lot of people and a lot of things that, you know, we, we want to see everything about relationships and we want everybody to post things about relationships, but we don't really know what's going on. We don't know what they have, are talking about and we don't know that. It doesn't matter if they had an open talk with everybody at the red table and you were there. It, when these things happen, you don't know what is the thing that, and, and the, 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 the understanding that they had between each other. You don't, we don't, we weren't there. We weren't there. So all those jokes, and that's, what, it says a lot about one, another thing, men vulnerability. Man, he was vulnerable. What we did with that, we laughed at Will. We laughed, we made fun, we made memes and stuff like that. And then you wonder why men don't want to open up about anything about that. But that digress again. All that to say, there's so much a man can take. And if the whole night he was talking shit, I can understand Will's sentiment. I don't feel he should have fucked him up. Like, I wouldn't have fucked him up. I would have waited for the thing to happen. Or I would have rolled on a motherfucker face to face and we would have talked. But, because, you know, on camera and everything and stuff, huh, unfortunately, that's assault. But I do understand where Will is coming from. Though. Will left the Oscars. Yes. It's real. Will just won an Oscar. Congratulations, Will. <laughs> what do you want me to say at this point? For? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I'm just gonna say, I just thought that was beautiful that this man slapped a nigga, handed an L, left, and, was a dub. and got a dub. I got a dub. But, That's a okay. wonderful thing. And overall, I think he, he holds an L. I disagree with most of your take only because yes. my boy went from I am legend to I am cook. Oh, 
I got nothing for you. Bars. Yes, can you imagine? Bars. This man that sometimes used to be called Hitch. Bars. Now I'm looking at him like, bitch. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Bars. No, that was Hitch. That was Hitch. The seduction expert. Now I'm looking at him like, Ew. bitch. Yeah. It's. We don't know about people's relationship. If you go outside and you broadcast all the details of your relationship, you make a red table talk where you're like, this is what's like on the inside of our life. You invite that judgment. You invite those memes. You invite all that insult. You invite that ridicule. Nobody asked y'all to talk about August and do all this stuff. That's you. I you guys decided to have your little couples talk in front of everybody. What happens afterwards? That's your problem, stupid. You don't like them jokes? They keep your mouth shut about your personal life. I am very much respectful of how people really handle their family and their relationship life, provided they keep it in private. And that's why I agree if with you. If you monetize your relationship issues, do not get surprised if people come at it with all their takes. Y'all don't hear about say. my personal relationship. Nope. You don't hear about his personal relationship. Nope. You don't be out here doing all these fucking red table talks with his girl. Nope. So who you ought to talk about anybody significant other? I don't bring my mom on the show, talk some shit about my mom, then we got an issue. It's a different ballgame. Bruh, 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 bruh. I just explained Will's side. I said, I understand how he might have feel. Sure. Now, also what I also said, this shit was... What the and if you make a parallel with whatever the fuck happened with the all other two go goobers uh, other there, I waited for them. At the end of the day, the only reason I jumped in and I was like, let's go, is because they challenged me. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it you wouldn't. Can't, have... You can't just catch him in the street. No, no, I, and I said that already. Yeah, I can't just roll up on a motherfucker. That's a. S Will that would be ruining my bag? You know, I disagree with you on the vulnerability thing, because we make fun of even women who are here being vulnerable if they say goofy stuff. We make fun of Jada yeah. for saying her goofy stuff. It's not when men come out. At least not in this instance, I don't think. When he said what he said on those mm -hmm. things, I don't think it was because it's a man being vulnerable that we left. We just left because he was saying some goofy ass shit and being vulnerable. Fair. Because Jada was saying some goofy ass shit too, and we, we, motherfuckers ran through her. Fair. So, to me, that's like my disagreement. Fair. I think Karens are mad. They always mad. But you know what else is mad? March. And we're in the middle of March Madness as we speak. It's time for you to shoot your shot and score big with my bookie. It doesn't matter whether you're filling out multiple brackets, betting on the national championship winner, or you're simply looking for players and game props. My bookie has you covered. Sign up to my bookie and use promo code ABBA to secure a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. It's simple. You put in 200, you get to play with 300. You get that? You see the math? You put in 200, but you get to play with three. Just use promo code ABBA and claim your bonus. You were already gonna do this. Why not get some free money on us? Go ahead. So whether it's college basketball, NBA, UFC, it doesn't matter. My bookie has you covered for all your needs. And with choices from thousands of odds and lines, you can turn any day into a payday. That's my bookie, you feel me? I, I have zero sympathy for Will. You know, and uh, you know, there's a transition of, of Will's public image. He went from the Fresh Prince, that dude, in terms of the black community and most folks, like he was that guy. Then the red table talk and the messiness with Jada started coming out. Everyone's like, I don't want to be anything like him. And he became the butt of most jokes. And I'm sure it eats at him. I'm sure it eats at him. But bro, you brought it on yourself. You wanted to be the guru. You wanted to open the curtains and show what's going on behind closed doors. Well, guess what? Turns out your closet is fucking messy. Yeah, yeah, your girl, she ain't left the matrix. She's still plugged into some other fucking universe because we don't know what she's thinking and she coming out weird in every episode. She's saying crazy stuff. Entanglement. Yeah. What? Well, guess what, bitch? Will, you in an entanglement too. Might be a legal one. So you get no sympathy for me. Zero, none. As far as them clowning your wife, well, guess what? That's what Chris Rock is paid to do at the Oscars. You don't get a pass, Will. You don't just say, yo, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Then don't show up to the show, stupid. Don't show up. You guys don't want to get roasted by the comedian? Don't show up. Don't open it. Like, I don't know. I, I just don't understand folks who want to live this online public life, make all the details of their personal life public, things that nobody asked for or pried into. You know, I have a problem with paparazzi being invasive, taking photos into people's homes, doing all this stuff. I agree that's fucking unacceptable. If you out there posing for them and then say, oh my God, they treat me terribly, get the fuck out of my face. And, and Don't that, eat from the table, then leave the table and say, 
I don't know why I would, why anybody would be there. The people serving the food to trade. Bitch, you was at the table eating. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. All right. What I, what I what I did what I did just there was explaining how Will felt, and I can understand how we feel. You understand what I'm saying? I understand all that, but everything you said was everything you said. That slap is something you should have dealt with your wife because she puts you in that situation and she put herself in that situation and she's the one talking about you and them and all that. Fair. I think Fair. Will did something wrong, Fair. undoubtedly so. He looks stupid. He looks like somebody who can't take a joke. And I'm like, well, you don't like taking jokes. You don't like being ridiculed or criticized. Don't be in the public eye. And if you don't like the joke, wait for the motherfuckers to challenge you in a boxing match. Yeah, it's not like motherfuckers are looking at a regular ass relationship and then criticizing you in ways that are not justified. Like, y'all are weird. You guys are saying weird shit, and you think it's weird judging by your reactions to what your wife be saying in the interview. So don't sit here and then act incredulous like blah, 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 blah. No, y'all brought this on yourselves. It's something, it's, like I said, it's something that you have to definitely take with your wife. Yeah. Because all that shit and the reason why you're there and everything and stuff, yeah, it's, oof. Your oh. wife, your wife, like you want, you want, you, you want people to take your name's wife out their mouth. But your wife is always talking about you. Always. It's your wife that should stop talking about you. Hey, Not Chris Rock. But you know, when you're going to sleep it off and you're going to be super pissed off and everything and stuff. And I understand. I understand. Oh, he'll come out with this PR answer. Yeah, of course. He'll PR. PR. But I'm not going to lie, man. Chris was having... One of the roughest sets of comedian can have. After? Yeah, after that slap, he said, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Chris started thinking like, do you want to keep going with these punchlines? I might get mad smacked again. <laughs> Chris Chris Rock, even though everyone said he kept a good poker face, motherfucker looked like he was fighting back tears. It's like when your mom slaps a shape. Hey, there's a great <laughs> philosopher that said it the best. Uh -huh. Everybody got a plan to get hit in the mouth. Facts. Mike Tyson. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watched a, like, you know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. So here we go. Here we go. The documentaries, the nominees are, let's just go to the nominees. Awkward. Oh man, well That's he awkward. just got decked in the mouth! That's awkward. That's awkward. That's so fucking awkward. But anyway, that's the gist of it. I'm sure Will Smith will be coming out tomorrow with an apology about this because he knows what he did is wrong from a PR standpoint. Yeah. And he's a PR dude. Uh but yeah. That's a weird ass family. Anything else you want to say? That's a weird ass family. There you go. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, hey! Don't put your shit out there. You don't want motherfuckers to talk about your shit. Don't put your shit out there. Yeah, don't there's a lot of motherfuckers. Of there's a lot of motherfuckers out there yeah. that be asking weird motherfuckers out there be asking me, oh, we don't see your wife. We don't see your mom. We don't. No. Because you motherfuckers are weird.